What is going on, you guys? My name is Nick, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to The Last of Us, Episode 2. Wow, this episode... I was, I was a little concerned about it going into it just because of just the task it had to fulfill, which was following up such an explosively entertaining and strong t start to a season. And it, it met every expectation I had. Now, at first, it was a little slow getting into it, but once uh, the actual plot of the episode starts getting going, by the end of it, you are completely satisfied with what happens. Fans of the game, there are moments in here that you will most certainly recognize, but there's also moments of surprise that isn't in the game, but that shouldn't be a surprise because the creators told us that they would be doing that. Now, the main way that I can tell if I I like a show or not is if I rewatch that uh, an episode throughout the week. So like last week, I rewatched the premiere probably three times. Um, it just I don't know. To me, it just tells me how much of a replay value a show has, which in turn just tells me how much I like it. I've only done that with a few shows of in, in recent memory, like The Boys and Succession. But now The Last of Us is on that list. I can't go too in depth in this review about the episode because. This the entire episode is just a big giant spoiler about what happens in it, and I just I can't dive into it because if you haven't played the games and you don't want what happens ruined for you, if you play the games, I'm sure you kind of have an idea of what's coming next. And if you do play the games, and you know what I'm talking about. They do play that moment out very very well. It is definitely impactful emotionally. I'm just really excited to see where the show goes. I believe Nick Offerman is going to make his appearance in the show for the very first time next week, and that's what I'm most excited about. It's just really hard to make these single episode reviews because. I really want to talk about spoilers, but I don't want to ruin it for you guys that haven't seen it. Overall, you guys, the main takeaway from this episode is that we get a lot more character work with uh, Joel, Ellie, and Tess, specifically between Joel and Ellie. Bella Ramsey is just perfection as Ellie, like, the hands-down perfection. But man, this episode makes me so excited for what's coming next. I think we are in really good hands with this adaptation, guys. Stay tuned on the channel for weekly reviews of The Last of Us, and I'll see you in the next one.